This video is not only for those who are planning to appear for some interview. This video is for everyone who is willing to improve their English communication skills. Yes, this is all about how you can improve your English communication skill plus if you are appearing for an interview, how your communication skill will help you. I will teach you five ways which will help you to improve your English speaking skill for interviews. But before I start, I want to address a very important point. One of my subscribers, he texted me a few days back saying that, Sir, my English communication skill is not as good as my friend. He speaks English very well and his communication is fantastic. So my dear friend, I want to tell you one thing. Please stop comparing yourself with others. If you compare yourself with others, you are harming yourself. You are demotivating yourself. You don't know how much he or she has practiced. You said that his communication skill is better than me. Have you ever checked how much he struggled, how much he practiced? You don't know that, right? So you cannot say simply that someone is better than me. If you practice hard, if you are consistent, if you are disciplined, you can be better than anyone. So I thought, let me tell you guys that don't compare yourself because you can be the best if you have the will. Coming to the main point of this video. Whenever you listen to some English videos or English audios, you understand very well. If someone asks you to read something, you have no problem. You can read very easily. But the challenge comes when someone asks you to speak. Speaking is really difficult, I understand. We all know that we are not good in English. We are not good in our fluency. Because most of the time, we will be engaged with our mother tongue or our local language. And we don't have time to talk in English. And this is one of the reasons why we are unable to improve our English. Hence, whenever we get a chance to speak in English, we fumble, we get scared, we get nervous, we try to hide so that no one see us and we can escape from speaking. But why you get scared? Have you ever tried to understand this? There are a few reasons. Maybe you feel that you may be judged by others. What others will think if you are making some mistake? If your grammar is not proper, if your pronunciation is not good, if you're talking in a very low accent, which people don't like. These are the few reasons why we hesitate to speak. Another big reason is our mind-mouth coordination doesn't happen. We think something, but we are unable to express it. This is only because we don't practice enough. But if you think this is only happening with you, then you are wrong. My dear friend, it happens with everyone. I can say, when I was learning English, it happened with me also. Let me share one small incident. In our school, my English teacher, she always wanted us to read some paragraph. Okay, that was the first thing she used to do every time she comes to our class. So whenever my chance comes, my turn comes, I used to get very nervous. I cannot read properly. That many a times my teacher used to tell, Rupam, sit down, no need to read. So when I look back those days, I find where I stand now. So if I can do, I can assure you, you can also do that. It is not a big deal. It's just that you have to practice. Now, when it comes to interview, communication plays a very big role. Suppose you are appearing for a tech-related job or a marketing or a sales-related job and you have an interview. Everywhere you go, most of the time, it is English. I work for many companies, I would say, starting with IBM, American Online, Kingfisher Airlines. The foreign companies like IBM, like American Online, they have their hiring staff in America. So, during my interviews, I used to get calls from them. At the beginning, it was so difficult for me to understand their accent. 
But if you are confused, you should not worry. Talk slow. That is the key. I used to follow that. So that helped me a lot, talking slow, so that I get time to think at the same time. Again, when it comes to Indian companies, the managers used to come from different state. So the main mode of communication was English. So in order for you to appear for any interview, you have to prepare that in English. Your English communication skill should be good. Because English is one of the medium, is the, you can say it's the main medium of interview nowadays. Wherever you go, interview will be held in English. So before I tell you the five easy tips which will help you to improve your English communication skill, I would like to tell you one important thing. Rather, three important things I want to discuss with you. Firstly, English is not a status symbol. We cannot judge anyone just that he or she cannot speak English well. He may have other qualities, leadership qualities, decision-making qualities, but he is poor in English. We cannot say that he is not at all good. English is just a language which helps us to communicate with others. If anyone speaks English fluently, it doesn't mean that he or she is very good, is excellent, or he is better than others. So always consider English as a skill, as a medium of communication. So it is a skill which can be improved and it can be learned by anyone. Got it? The second point. Mistakes will happen at the beginning. If you think that you don't want to make mistake, you also have to think that you will never learn. Because without making mistakes, we cannot learn anything. I'll give you my example. When I started learning swimming, okay, the first day I thought I will go to the water, but I will make sure that I will not this water because so many people will be there in the swimming pool. But that doesn't work. In order to learn swimming, you have to drink water, man, in the swimming pool. You like it, you don't like it, it is all a part of a game. Slowly, slowly when I learned how to swim, I understood the techniques. So now when I swim, no, water doesn't go to my mouth. So this comes only with practice. So at, at the beginning, whenever you learn something, you have to keep in mind that mistakes will happen. And remember, never be scared of mistakes. And don't give up saying that, no, this is not my cup of tea. I cannot do that. You try, you will realize you can do it. Thirdly, don't think that it takes long time to learn English. I can tell you, if you are consistent, if you practice regularly, hardly six months, six months is enough for you to be good in English. For example, if you want to score at least 60 to 70% in the exam, just by reading one week before the exam, you can score that, right? I used to do that. The whole year in the college, we hardly used to study. Just before the exam, we take out our books and study. But yes, if you want to score 90-95%, then you have to start your preparation before. Same in the case of driving license. You practice for 5-6 days how to ride or how to drive. Then go to the office and give the exam. You clear the exam, you get the driving license. But yes, to improve your driving, to be expert in that field, you need to practice. Same in the case of communication. With five to six months of practice, you will be able to become a good English communicator. Same in the case of interview. If your interview is after 20 days or 25 days, you can start preparing from now. Don't worry. Just follow the steps and you will be able to clear the interview. So this is a 30-day challenge. You know, consider today as the first day. In 30 days, you see where you stand. Today you practiced, give a tick mark. Tomorrow you have not practiced. Day after tomorrow you practiced, you give a tick mark. It's a 30-day challenge. So whatever I'm going to tell you now, you can do this in 30 days. Take it as a challenge. Daily practice of 20 to 25 minutes can help you a lot. Pick up any topic and start speaking. I'll give you an example. Now you're watching my video. Take this video as an example, okay? The whole video, you just go through the video two or three times. You will get an idea what exactly I said in the video. Then stop the video and you start speaking. And yes, try to keep a recorder 
so that once your speaking is over, once you are done with your speaking, you can find out where are the mistakes. Your grammars, your pronunciation, maybe you have made some mistakes, maybe your sentence formation was not correct, maybe there was no smile in your face, all these things you need to notice. So recording plays a big role, remember. Maybe you like current affairs. Take up any topic, like do you support the war between Israel and Palestine or Russia and Ukraine. Speak on the topic and record it and then see where you can improve. That will help you a lot. Again, remember, whenever you are speaking, don't pick up some fancy words. You will be confused. The main rule is that speak slow, speak with simple words, small sentences so that others can understand. And it'll be easy for you to speak for a longer period of time. If you're a college student, what I used to do, during my college days, there were students from some foreign countries. The only way they can communicate with us was English. So you have no choice. You have to keep speaking in English. You can also do that. If you have friends who are from another country, try to mingle with them more. It'll help you to improve your English. You'll be able to form a habit of speaking in English. Another beautiful way to improve your English communication is that if you're in a hostel or in a PG or any house and you have a chance to speak to yourself, stand in front of the mirror, pick up a topic and talk to yourself. That will boost your confidence because when you talk to yourself, there will be no one to judge you. You can speak freely and once you keep doing that, it becomes your habit. Now you may say, I don't have time. Well, those who don't have time, the best thing is what you know. At the end of the day, just take 10 minutes before you go to bed, sit down and summarize what you did. Speak out loud and talk to yourself the entire day, whatever you did. Today I woke up, I went to college, then I played basketball. Oh, I remember, I had my lunch with my friends. This way, narrate the story. It will help you to improve your thinking skill. Thinking in English. Once you form habit with all these things around you, now it's time for you to read some newspaper. Newspaper will help you to improve your vocabulary. You will be able to manage new new words. Whenever you come across some new words, note them down, find the meaning and try to use them in your daily conversation. And you see, at the end of three months, how wonderful your English communication becomes. Many a times in the interviews, the interviewer asks questions from newspaper also. So when you inculcate small, small steps in your life, your English will automatically improve. So this is a 30-day challenge. You know, consider today as the first day. Take up the challenge and see where you stand. So my dear friends, this is all I have for today. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.